Okay, so right now my hive is trying to hurry up and get rid of some honey at the entrance um, that was spilt during the I was checking it earlier and some honey spilt. And I was cleaning up their combs and but so they're doing a good job. However, it only took a matter of a few minutes to attract the nasty flying animals. So, and a lot of people just assume that anything that's yellow and flying is a bee. So I thought I'd give a little video. So these are things that are attacking my colony right now. This is a paper wasp. They're nasty. This is a yellow jacket. And this is a, a, a bald-faced hornet. So the bald-faced hornet is pretty big and it's black. Yellow jacket is just yellow. And then these were uh, the paper wasp is... This one just won't die. Come on. They're so, so about these ones, these three right here will decimate a colony of bees. Last year, my colony was killed by these variety of flying insects. This little girl right here is a casualty from this banjo. And this is a honeybee. This right here is a drone. He can't defend himself. He has no stinger. And this is the male honeybee. This is a female honeybee. I am not bringing my queen out here for obvious reasons. And I think I've swatted this thing like, let me try, I don't want it to suffer, but there we go. Okay. All right, good. See, it took me, I swatted that thing like 30 times. So clearly it, you can see why it's so hard for my sweet little honeybees to kill this awful thing. So. So this is again, this is the drone. He's much bigger than the female honeybee. However, the worker bee, they're all females. However, he doesn't have a stinger, so he has no way to defend himself. And again, this is a paper wasp. This is a yellow jacket right here. And this is a bald faced hornet. And they are all nasty. So that is the difference. Good guys, awful, 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 awful.